Okay, that sounds good. Okay, tell us uh, who you are and what you've built. Um, my name is Nathan Firesheets, and I have built um, basically a modified Ibanez tube screamer for use in a modular synthesizer application. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of stu other stuff on this breadboard, so point out the tube screamery parts. Okay, so this uh, dual op amp down here is acting as an input and output buffer uh, uh -huh. and, and staging the gain so that uh, it goes through the drive circuit um, the way that it was designed, which is for guitar signals mm -hmm. fairly low in amplitude. And this dual op amp right here is what's handling the, the gain stage. Uh, this is in the feedback loop. Here's the clipping diodes that are really giving it the sound. Uh -huh. um, the uh, the variability in the drive control is coming from the back control up here. So that's the new thing you added in. Right. And so this this lets us control the uh, the amount of drive in the circuit from a uh, low frequency oscillator or some other source. Okay. And I, I remember I think this is vaguely based on the Buchla 227. Uh, yeah. Drive. The, mean, that's yeah. that's the drive circuit. Although it's got yeah. some tweaks in here. Right. We had to tweak um, tweak it a bit because, as originally implemented, the um, uh, the control voltage would go from zero to five volts, but the drive would actually be highest at zero volts. So we had to implement this over here, which is um, uh, an op amp and an. Some stuff. It's, yeah. it's to flip that upside down. Yeah, it flips that upside down, adds a DC offset, so, okay. so that everything's nice and happy when you go from zero to five. Zero is, so, no, is no drive, and five is yeah. So increasing no CV is increasing distortion, which is the way I think most musicians would want to think about it. And um, this other thing is, we did some little tweaks because our Buchla CV were in zero to ten, and we want this to work like a, more like a MOTM type CV. So let's look at the scope here and play around. Um, should notice I'm driving the uh, control voltage here from a uh, LFO, as I've done on all the other projects, really. Um, so this is a sawtooth going in, and we look can see the distorted version coming out. Let me turn this up a bit. Hopefully the people... Let me turn this frequency down a bit. There we go. So you can hear changing the rate of the LFL. Let's see what this sounds like with a triangle wave going in. So you can see the, the rounding off of the peak there by the, uh, the tube screamer circuitry. Let me change some frequencies here a bit. It's subtle, but doubt we'll really be able to notice it. The tube screamer does have some capacitors in there, so it's not it's not a pure memoryless nonlinearity. It's got some frequency dependence. And let's put in a sine wave. That way we can really hear and, see, and really see what the exact distortion characteristic is. So there you can see, see the rounding off of that sine wave by the diodes. And as you increase in frequency, it starts to do other fun things. Yeah, so let's, let's, uh, the, um, actually the, uh, course frequency knob on my, uh, there's a saw on my original oscillator's broken, on, on one of my oscillators broken, so let me try this one. So that's a saw, here's a pulse. got a, another way to mangle waveforms. Uh, anything else you want to say about the circuit or experiments we should do? Um, another thing you could try is just uh, with the control voltage giving it a DC and instead of varying it like this and passing uh, a synthesized waveform through it to just add extra harmonic content and mangle it a little bit mm -hmm. a little bit more without actually modulating the control voltage. Or so, so you could actually put a DC offset in on the audio signal? Uh, no, no. It, no. It, it, on the, on the control voltage. Oh, you mean just not even, just put yeah. a DC voltage in. Right, from the LFO, just just to add a drive to your synthesized signal. Yeah. Um, so maybe maybe you start with a sine wave, 
and instead of getting your harmonics from a <coughs> sawtooth and filtering them out, you start with the sine and you add the drive, and those are the harmonics that you then play with and filter. And, yeah. And, Actually, uh, I, you know what? I'll show you how to do that. It'll take you all ten, five minutes. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, having a, a DC offset there would be useful. So we're going to close this out here and say bye-bye. Bye-bye.